Sarah Ferguson has said her way of thinking like a trottler makes her the best granny ever to her little royal grandchildren. The 63-year-old said that her having written almost 50 kids' books has helped her become one of the best grandmothers ever. But it is her childlike mind that helps her connect with the little ones, although she does sometimes land in hot water for spoiling them. Fergie is readying to welcome another grandchild as Princess Eugenie is expecting her second child any minute now, the Duchess of York revealed earlier this month. She and Jack Brooks Bank, who tied the knot the same year as the Sussexes in 2018, will soon be a family of four, the pair having welcomed their two-year-old son, August, into the world in 2021. Speaking earlier this month, Fergie told Hello! Magazine, Well, the thing is, is that I've written 48 children's books and I've flown helicopters, Budgie, the helicopter, and Little Red. And so, I'm wanting to actually write a book about a football, now. Hence, I'm in the room with footballs and I'm going to write about a bouncy football. But anyway, I'm probably one of the best grannies ever. The best abuela, grandmother, ever because I think like a three-year-old. Fergie not only has little August but Princess Beatrice's young daughter, Sienna, who is kept out of the spotlight, and her stepson, Wolfie. In another interview last month, the soon-to-be grandmother of three again said she loves her role although she does get in trouble for indulging them. Speaking to OK! Magazine in April, she said, I love being a grandmother. It's a whole new phase of life and I am modeling myself on Super Gran. I love being with them and how it brings out my inner child. My grandchildren seem to find me very funny. I love indulging them, too. I get in trouble for giving them sweets. Fergie has loved having grandchildren from the moment she first became a young granny, as she revealed in a heartfelt letter pen to her two daughters in Good Housekeeping in 2021. In the piece, where she also sang her two sons-in-law's praises, she said that she smiles from her heart every day because of her grandmotherly role. Fergie wrote, being 61 makes me a young grandma, and I love it. I smile from my heart every day because that is how it feels to be a granny. It has been just us for 33 years, but now you are creating your own families, and I couldn't be happier for you both and my magnificent sons-in-law, Jack and Edo. Don't miss! This surprising royal could play peacemaker between Harry and William, in sight, Prince William's fury when he heard friend's nasty nickname for Kate, report, Count Tibor Kalnicki, Charles' distant kin whose family inspired Dracula, analysis, when Eugenie announced that she was pregnant earlier this year, she did not reveal the due date but said they were expecting in the summer. But Fergie appeared to let this slip as she also told Hello! Magazine, we don't know what it is yet. But the baby is due by the end of May, I think. So it's any minute now. And at Chelsea Flower Show this week, Beatrice was seen standing in for her heavily pregnant sister, who is a patron of Horatio's garden. Eugenie posted pictures of Beatrice and her husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, at the event, suggesting that her older sister was doing her a favor. She wrote, I'm such a proud patron of this charity and my sister loved visiting yesterday. Glowing Eugenie was seen several times over the coronation weekend, including the coronation itself, taking part in several events. She took to Instagram to announce her pregnancy in January of this year, writing in a post, We're so excited to share that there will be a new addition to our family this summer. 
It was accompanied by a picture taken by Jack of their son August embracing her and her bum. Reports suggest Eugenie and Jack will honor their late relatives in the names they choose for their new baby as August's middle name is Philip, after the Duke of Edinburgh. It has also been suggested that they may honor other members of the royal family or Jack's late father, George, who died in 2021.